Hello everyone. Today in this, I am discussing about amplitude shift king modulation and demodulation. Okay. Actually, in this experiment, our main objective is to study about ASK modulator and demodulator. Okay. Amplitude shift king or on-off king is a form of modulation that represents the variation of digital data in the form of amplitude of carrier wave. The amplitude of analog carrier signal is varies in accordance to the modulating signal, keeping amplitude, uh, sorry, keeping frequency and phase of the signal is constant. Actually, ASK or amplitude shift king represent the binary data in the form of variation of amplitude of signal. Okay, here you see this is the kit. Actually, to perform this experiment, we need the kit of Scientec 2807 and we use this DSO to perform the experiment and these are the probe to use for viewing the output ok so you see here one data selection key is there from here you just select the different types of data 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit and 60 bit not 60 actually 64 bit whatever you like ok according to this you just select the data type and here one data clock frequency is given ok Up from this data generator both the type and clock will selected and then generate the data over here using this test, uh, test panel we can check the data pattern ok and then one bit encoding is given actually encoding is a process of converting series of symbol characteristics into digital form either zeros or one in the form uh, in the form of binary okay and then here one multiplier is given so in this multiplier whatever the output of one bit encoding it is multiplied with your carrier sin sin omega ct is your carrier so after multiplication of this two uh, signal what are the output we got this is your ASK modulated waveform ok so this is the process for modulation and then we need to demodulate the modulator output and this is the your demodulator block ok so whatever the in output we got here it is directly applied to the input section of the demodulator part so at the receiver side of the uh, ASK demodulator signal which directly multiplied with the carrier signal ok from here the carrier generator is given so from this we just apply the carrier to the multiplier ok and then output of this multiplier we apply to the integrator block actually integrator in integrator block which having pre threshold level and the output of this integrator for, uh, just compare with the threshold comparator actually this comparator compare, uh, compare the output of the uh, whatever output you got from the integrator set with the input of the modulator set ok then we receive or got the original signal at the demodulated set suppose if the whatever the pre threshold given over the integrator when the signal exit this th comparator threshold then the value of one bit is provided at the comparator output when the signal level is zero or sorry or less than threshold value then the output of the comparator is zero okay 
so this is the overall discussion about this modulator and demodulator part now we start the experiment so switch on this kit you see okay you see here uh, data and this this uh, these are the data type is 8 bit okay this led using this key we just select different data pattern okay so here we select 8 bit and this corresponding clock frequency is your 2 kilohertz and then here using this probe we we'll just check the first so you see first we check the data generator output over user you see so we check first whether it is 8 bit or not so you see here the data bit is your uh, 1 1 then double 0 here you see your bit pattern is uh, 8 bit see double 1 then double 0 then 1 0 1 0 after that it is repeated you see double 1 double 0 then 1 0 1 0 same thing will be repeated so in this we check first the bit or data pattern and then we check the same same output will go over this test panel and now connect it okay you see this is your output okay you see this is your final output okay so when your input data actually this one is your input and this is your output so when your data pattern is zero your phase is shifted or it's zero and when it's got a high then we will got over output in this output side okay in this way you see when your beat pattern is zero it will be shifted okay so in amplitude shape key you see only a phase will be shifted so in this way we got the output of the modulator set so same output we apply to the demodulator set to demodulate the signal so connect this probe over there actually here same input uh, what was the output we got from the demodulator uh, modulator set it will directly apply to your you see here written ASK in means um, what is the modulator output we got is directly applied to the modulator set here the multiplier and from carrier generator we see apply the, the carrier signal over here and the both the carrier uh, output of modulator input uh, modulator set and the carrier will be multiplied and after that the output of this multiplier passes through integrator okay and then the other output of the integrator directly apply to comparator from here you just compare the value with the input now we see this is your output now we need to compare the output with the input so we just connect this row over there you see this is your input and this is your final output okay now you see whether we will got the output or not same output okay you see this is your input channel 2 okay fine channel 2 is your input this one is a channel 2 channel 2 is your input green color and your one is your channel 1 is your output so you see whatever the input we send in the modulator set will get the same output actually there are some delay over there this is your input and this is your output so in this way we see the output of the ASK modulator side as well as demodulator side 
in the calculation table for ask mode later you write first uh, input data type means what is the type of the data 8 bit 16 bit or 32 bit whatever you need accordingly you write and then the data clock frequency what is the data clock frequency we use here 2 kilohertz 4 kilohertz whatever accordingly we write and then draw the resultant waveform for uh, input as well as output so you see now using data pattern we just select ok so you see here the pattern of 16 bit data type you see this is the pattern of 16 bit data type you see 0 uh, sorry 1 then double zero then double one then zero then double one okay in this way you can count the 16 bit pattern over there okay so you just see a 16 pattern pattern will be set first and then we we'll just apply the modulator input side so you see here this pattern is directly applied to the product modulator after that whatever the output we got for 16 bit pattern so you see this is the ASK mode letter output for 16 bit pattern same way ok this is the demodulator output for 16 bit pattern ok so you, this is your 16 bit demodulator output you see same there is some delay in the output side ok so this is for ASK demodulator and demodulator output for different data pattern so so in this way we fill this calculation table first uh, data type then clock and then resulting waveform ok this is all about the ASK modulator and demodulator experiment